everyone. Welcome to another Animation Friday. I apologize I had to delay this video up until now. I unfortunately was busy over this week, but I should be caught up by the end of today of Saturday. So without further ado, let me address what I wanted to talk about for this particular Animation Friday, and that has to do with comic book animation. Uh, the interesting thing about comic books is that um, since they are considered sort of an artistic uh, form uh, in the sense of being, I guess you could say, um, animated on a certain level. Uh, in other words, you have various captions and there's kind of this breakdown of various actions that are occurring. It would only make sense that um, with the rise of its popularity, which I think largely started within the 50s, if I'm not mistaken, uh, really did allow for animators to really uh, up the uh, understanding and the artistic form of uh, comic books by creating primarily television shows related to comic books. And I think it makes sense that it was more within the realms of television only because uh, there's a lot of different comic books with various different storylines and whatnot. So I think it makes sense that they would try to do it within that format as opposed to trying to f create feature films, uh, in particular animated feature films, following this kind of, uh, this, this kind of, I guess you could say, genre. Um, but... Uh, we did sort of get started actually within the 1950s of trying to create comic books in the form of television shows, in particular 2D animated cartoon television shows. Um, and they've sort of been kind of from the 50s onward sort of coming and going. Uh, you had tons of different series, series involving Batman, involving Superman, uh, the Justice League, uh, to X-Men, uh, it, it's pretty much over the map as far as uh, comic book television shows are concerned. There was a lot of variety and there was a lot of uh, focus on trying to get these characters sort of out there and kind of giving them a, uh, a personality and in doing so bringing them sort of to life out of the comic books that they really came from. Um, Spider-Man was also one that was fairly popular as well. So there were tons and tons of different uh, uh, characters and storylines that really brought this sort of genre to life. And I think a lot of it did really start with these animated cartoons, in particular television shows, that really sparked people's interest and investment into comic books which again, really did start through its original comic book format, but expanded uh, within the realms of television. And you obviously will see that there's some that probably stay more close to the uh, comic book stories while others kind of drift away more so from trying to revolve around the storylines that were part of the comic book or they'll take certain bits and you know, create their own thing out of it. So there was a lot of variety that was occurring at least around the periods leading up. And you'll sort of see how um, in the earlier days, a lot of the comic book animated television shows were kind of cheesy and corny and goofy. Um, and then later on, we started to get into the realms of being more dark and serious and uh, grounded. So there was a lot of different things that uh, sort of really allowed for uh, a variety of um, tones and ideas to emerge because of making uh, animated series out of comic books. And again, although there were some films, um, there wasn't a really primary focus on making in particular animated uh, comic book films. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that, again, there was there's more of an emphasis, I think, now on making comic books into films, like, for example, The Avengers, The Dark Knight, all of that. But it doesn't seem like uh, those, again, try to focus on being 
the being animated, obviously. So, um, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that, again, comic books in particular appeal to children, primarily boys. And I think it's safe to say and understand why that is. I think a lot of guys, in particular little boys, love to be superheroes and, you know, be the, be the hero and save the day. Um, and, you know, there's all, obviously a lot of interesting villains as well from comic books. So, um, it makes sense that a lot of this would really translate well with an animation. And it really has. And, um, it sort of, I think, has continued at least a little bit now. I think its influence, though, was more so within the 1950s all the way up to the earlier 2000s. Um, within the 90s, though, we had a huge surge, and early 2000s, I think, too, of comic book uh, animated television shows. A lot of these, and I think primarily most of them, remain in 2D, and I think this makes uh, also a huge amount of sense, because the way in which comic books are drawn, I mean, it is really, it does look like a 2D uh, format, so to really translate this into 3D would probably not work as well. And this is why we don't, I think, see it all too often, and I think really why 2D has remained so strongly a part of comic book animation, uh, in particular television shows. But uh, it's a very interesting topic uh, because there's tons of different styles and uh, different uh, shows. Sometimes they'll have shows that'll focus on one particular superhero. Sometimes it'll be a whole league of superheroes. Um, sometimes there will be um, storylines in involving one particular per person or superhero. And then another will revolve around these other characters, you know. So there is a lot of variety that was uh, sort of created out of this rise in popularity of comic books. And really, comic books were the ones that allowed this kind of animation to sort of happen. Uh, and it's very fascinating and very interesting to see all of the different works that have come out over the years. There's a lot of enjoyable uh comic book animated television shows and uh in particular some films that have come out that have really been intriguing and I think really do lend itself well to um to the whole genre of superheroes um it's really interesting because um some people might think it a little bit childish now considering the fact that now we have these films that are coming out that are um, primarily not in any shape or form cartoon, um, and are obviously all live action, and that makes it seem a little bit more adult than the sort of 2D, but even despite the fact that a lot of the stuff is in 2D, uh, and is very cartoony at times, there's still a lot of serious and more adult styles in which they approach the uh, the the series is like um, all the superheroes kind of have this very uh, adult approach in telling the stories, uh, and that's also something that's very intriguing. and And I think kids can still enjoy it. I mean, even if they don't get exactly certain bits or parts or messages, uh, they can still get an overall picture, and it can provide a lot of interesting um, ways in which they kind of think about uh, what the episode or series is kind of trying to say. Uh, and I think it really does work. I think, unfortunately, it's not as prevalent as it used to be, uh, only because uh, comic books, again, I think are going more towards the, the theater now. And again, they're not being translated into 2D animation. They're being translated into live action and hence trying to give off a more adult impression uh, as opposed to back in the uh, 20th century when we largely I think relied upon 2D to tell these kinds of stories uh, because they were really from that com from that comic book uh, format and really stuck to that comic book format but now since we're trying to make things seem a little bit more adult um, at least I think to just this generation I think people don't really look at 
unfortunately, animation and think of it as something adult. They look at it and think it's something childish or something that's supposed to be, you know, kind of uh, funny and nonsensical, like, for example, Family Guy or The Simpsons or whatnot. You know, they don't see it as something very serious or intriguing um, in the sense of it being very adult. Uh, but there is, ironically, a lot of adult things that have come from a lot of these series. Uh, again, the earlier ones, I think, were a lot more hokey and goofy and didn't really uh, <laughs> try to take themselves too seriously. But eventually, later on, you'll see how some of them sort of tried to do that. Uh, in particular, uh, Batman and the uh, Batman the Animated Series within the 90s was a very grounded and serious uh uh, television show. But I think that's really ultimately all I can say about all of this, or at least the whole topic of uh, comic book animation in particular, um, these uh, television series. But if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I would be more than happy to answer them. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Feel free to let me know if you have any particular favorites or if you've watched any of these, because I think there's something that there's they are something that has been around for quite some time. But until next time, everybody, bye bye.